Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Edgar's from Solo Marketer here. And today I'm going to quickly show you how to um, set up a course, like kind of what kind of a structure there should be to it. And uh, also how to activate the course and all of its pages. And a bit of a surprise for you if you decide to stick to the end. So yeah, more on that later. Uh, so yeah, let's get right to it. So the first thing you want to do, besides obviously logging into your system.io account, is to go to uh, products, courses, right up here. So the next thing you're going to do, uh, I'm, I'm going to be showing this on a free account just so you can see that everything can be done with that. And yet yeah, I think the free account, at least at the moment of recording this, there's a limit of one course, but the size of it, I don't think you can, there's no limit on that. So we're just going to create one course. Uh, so yeah, first let's click on add a new course and then we can go and let's just do a quick, you know, let's just do that. So here you can see just at the beginning, just we're going to breeze right through this. There's like the course title, instructor name, description, uh, course cover, all this stuff you can see here. I think this was the cover specifically. Yeah. Uh, title, instructor, description. So, you know. This is how it shows up on their end once they purchase. This is the course, right? If they have like several. So just kind of fill these ones out as whatever your course is, you know, how to set up a course, right? So whatever the description is, instructor name, right? So let's just fill it out. Uh, the link. Obviously, this is the slug. This is like past the, the, sl uh, the slash. And here you can see you can select... Uh, your domain if you have like a custom domain for example or several of them you can pick it here and then yeah there's like branding stuff you know if you have like a specific font and then then kind of like a theme color and stuff like that so you can mess around with this afterwards as well but you know that's beyond the the scope of this short training um and yeah the sales page that's yeah that's kind of let's leave it as is right now let's save and now what we want to do is, oh yeah, before we do anything, if you want to go back and edit this stuff, the name, description, all that stuff, you can go back to courses, find your course, hover over the three dots, and then click on settings. So that's, yeah, that's how you can go back in and, and kind of edit that. So now let's go into the course and let's create a quick mock course, you know, not a real thing, but just, I'm just going to basically show you uh, that, yeah, the structure of it would be, it consists of modules, which would be like, I don't know, like chapters in a book, for example. And then there's lectures under each module. Those are the actual ones that kind of contain all the uh, all the video information, all the all the downloadable links to whatever guides and, and spreadsheets, whatever the supplemental material is. And it also can have like a description and all that as well for the videos and whatever other information you might need with the course. But yeah, those are the lectures under. So I'm just going to quickly build out like uh, like a few modules and a few lectures under under each. Uh, so let's start with the first one. You go to add module. Now it'd be like a, uh, let's say it would be, uh, it's a, f I don't know, three week course. Week one. So whatever the actual uh, topic of the week is, right? If it's like a multi -week, week thing. So let's go to module two same thing right so let's just yeah i'm gonna create a couple more all right so these would be let's say it's a three-week training and each week there's like several video trainings right so it will be as you can see at the bottom there's oftentimes with digital products you offer a lot of bonuses right there's the base course and then there's like a bunch of other guides and and supplemental material that doesn't it kind of applies to the to broad range of you know the topics what you're talking about in the course but maybe it's like a supplemental thing let's say it's on you know the course is about how to build a funnel and then the supplemental thing would be something about how to generate traffic to it right just as an example so it would you know usually i keep i keep the bonus content separate but that's just my suggestion you can also if it makes sense you can you know whatever your course structure is basically and then under each module you do lectures so let's say each week you have like three video trainings, a total of one hour. So you can put them in either in one lecture or you can do like three separate ones. So let's let's create the first one. And then I'm going to show you how to edit the actual course page, right? That the video is in, the description, the downloadables, all that stuff. So let's click on add lecture under module one. So we would do something like, 
So it would be each module will have three lessons, right? And each lesson has a video, a PDF, or whatever. So let's 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 set it up that way. Uh, no delay for now. A little bit on that later. Uh, also, you can preview each template, kind of see what the what what it looks like. But we're gonna edit them anyway. So just I'm just gonna pick one, click save, and then we're gonna go in and edit it. So that's yeah. I created one lesson here, so I'm going to create like a few more lessons just to show you what the structure is like. We're going to skip ahead. Okay, so it'll be something like this, right? Each module has lessons, whatever the amount is. Maybe you can, maybe you just have one, right? And the modules would be instead of being named week one, week two, week three, it would be something else based on it. It's just, it kind of depends on your course, but this is kind of, you know, how I usually build it, how a lot of people do, but obviously you can deviate from this. And here you can see like the bonus content as well. You can, you know, if you have like a separate section, you can do like bonus one, two, three. And let's go edit one of the pages to show you what the functionality is. It's kind of like a page builder, really. Uh, so let's just click on the first one. So as you can see here, uh, this is like what the course, what that lesson will look like, that lecture, as, as it's called here. It's if you ever built a page, on system.io then you're kind of familiar with all this stuff but you know on the left side you can see headline text text like you can drag in the elements right drag it in simple as that whatever the name is right i usually make it really simple i usually do headline video maybe a description if there is one well let's just delete this you know, whatever the description is, right? And take this stuff out. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. Let's take all this out. Uh, technically, you can, yeah, you can have downloadables as well. So it would be something like, let's just do, let's just do a separate thing. You know, like relevant resources or whatever. And you can do it two ways. You can add hyperlink text or put in a button. So let's do let's do two columns. Let's drag it in. And then let's do text. All right. One. Uh, there's different ways to do it, but this is how I would, you know, this is how I have done it. So, it, you know, just to give you like an idea. And then drag in a button here oh let's actually level it out you can see the column here you can align it right let's center it let's center it here as well so it's kind of you know vertically aligned uh, you can click on a button and then obviously open url and link to whatever whatever resource you have if you have a link if you have a pdf that's on your computer or a file or whatever that needs to be downloaded and uh, obviously there's no option to upload it so what you would do instead is you would do just something like uh, download here right and then you would select this part and then you would click the link and then you would click this little icon to upload select file and you can see there's like a pdf on my computer right so i can just upload it all right here it is insert and don't forget to save save so now once they uh once we'll go preview the page this thing once you click on it it will be downloadable right instantly it will just open the pdf so that's another way if you don't have an actual link if you need to upload it this is a good way to do it uh, for whatever reason they don't have that with a button but if you hyperlink a text that's an option so do that i do that very often as well so yeah i would uh, whatever take this section out if needed and then in the end you can preview it so this would be the page, right? It was something like this, obviously, to make it prettier and all that stuff, but and with actual content. And uh, one last thing for the video itself. If you click on it, there's several ways to do it. So you can do a direct link, which would be if you have like an unlisted YouTube video. That's how I've done it as well. Um, not a private video, not a public one. If it's a paid course, you know, why would you make someone pay for it if it's publicly available for free so usually you do like exclusive content for the course and it's unlisted which means anyone can view it but only if you give them direct access to it 
So that's one way to do it. I think it might work with Vimeo and Wistia and all those sites as well, but I haven't tried. I've only done YouTube and you can do custom embed, which honestly I haven't tried. There's two better options in here. So unless you have a big reason for it, to copy the code and all that stuff, sure. But I just don't mess with that at all. There's more chances for something to go wrong with custom code and also upload file. If you have it, just like the PDF stuff, if you have it on your computer, don't have a link for it, then uh, yeah, you can just upload it here. You click on the icon and then select file, upload the video, right? And it's going to fill in. So yeah, pretty simple as that. Basically two options. I wouldn't mess with the custom embed thingy. Uh, let's just save and exit. That would be like one of the lessons. So as you do that, you uh, create all the lessons for all the modules. Just kind of have all the bonuses. If you have any, have them all in there. And then as you want to preview the course, right, to see what it looks like, if you click view now at this moment, there is nothing. Even though you filled it all out, you have all the videos uploaded, everything, there's just nothing. So uh, what gives, you know, what, what's the reason why? So the reason is you can see all these check marks. They're all gray, which means by default, they're inactive because you don't want to just, you know, you don't want it to be active by default. You just create like a thing, like another module for a course that somebody's, you know, already taking and you have this half finished thing on there. So by default, it's off. And once you're done for each lecture and also the course itself, which I'm going to show you in a second, you have to hover over the three dots, activate. See, now it's green. So now you go to view. There we go. We have week one, lesson one. So let's let me activate the rest and show you what it looks like all together. Okay, and now I, I have activated all the lessons, so let's go preview it again. Should be something like this. So as you can see on the side, they have the, the, the modules, the lectures, right? Same thing for the bonus content. They can click on it. They can go through, right? And they can also do like complete course. Uh, mark, mark is complete. And then it takes them to the next section, right? So it's kind of simple as that. But what you also want to do is you want to activate the course itself. So let's click on courses over here here same thing status it's not you're not going to be able to to actually give it to people because the act is it's it's an inactive status so let's go do the same thing activate confirm simple as that right so yeah that's pretty much it pretty simple i don't know how long it took maybe like 10 min 10 minutes or whatever but yeah if if you have built the course and basically, if you need a sales page for it, right, you need to actually sell it. So I have a, actually a couple surprises. I know a surprise. I promised one surprise, but there's two. There should be in a second or two or whatever. There should be somewhere on the screen uh, a link to like a, a video that I created uh, where I actually show you how to create a sales page. And at the bottom in the description, you can check it out as well. There's a free template. Uh, it's a sales page template with, with a thank you page, with a welcome email, with a course template, with a with a full setup explainer video, all the tech, how it's all connected, how to set up a price point and all that stuff as well. It's all below. If you actually, you know, you have a course, you need to sell it. So go check out the, the one click download templates, all that stuff. It also on a free system.io account, obviously a paid one as well. Uh, you can easily upload it. You know, it's simple as that. So go check it out and uh, yeah, hopefully you like that. Hopefully you like this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.